So we'll try reasoning one slope, okay? We'll try remembering one slope. So first slope, this way Brahma ji kriya bachara ko chori ki, ab unko pata chala hi Bhagavan Krishna hai. So pata chala hi Bhagavan Krishna, Brahma hansa vahan ko bada baita hai, to unhoi chalang laga hai. Chalang laga hai, siddha Krishna bachara ko unhoi kriya bachara. Jaa karke, unhoi dekha ek saar sparsa kar raha hai. Chari saar pere jor kare, to unhoi chari saar pere laha hai. उन्होंने देखा शरीर का एक अंग स्पर्श कर रहा है फिर उन्होंने बोला और तीन अंग बाकी रह गया फिर तो ब्रज रज में लोट पोट खाने लगे बोले क्यों उनको पता चला इस ब्रज रज में इतना महिमा लोट पोट खाने लग गए प्रभु ब्रह्मा जी सो दिस इज द श्लोक फ्रॉम व्हेन ब्रह्मा जी हैज टोल्ड ऑन द काउ ऑफ द बे एंड देन ही इज नाउ स्टार्टिंग टू टेस्ट कृष्णा लॉर्ड कृष्णा ही इज ट्राइंग टू टेस्ट एंड ही कम्स टू दिस कंक्लूजन आफ्टर ऑल दिस एग्जामिनेशंस that oh this is nobody else but actually the supreme personality of god himself so that very moment when he came to this realization that actually he's having a big mistake and it is supreme personality of god he was riding at this moment he was riding on a swan his career his career his career and he's sitting on his swan but the moment he realizes he jumped down from the swan and immediately he bowed down at the in the brajrish at the feet of krishna but then when he's bowing down he's thinking that oh i'm bowing down but only one of my heads is touching the ground so he forcefully he all his four heads he forcefully brought down on the ground to touch this brajraj and then he's thinking my only one limb is offering pranam so he said this is also not proper so he began to roar because he understood the glories of this brajraj the dust of the braj that's why he began to roar in this brajraj and then yeah then fir unka apna aankhon se aanson ko dwara bhagwan ke charanon ko unhone abhishek kiya abhishek karke unhone aise aise aankhon ko ऐसे ऐसे मलते मलते ब्रह्मा जी खड़े हुए ब्रह्मा जी खड़े होकर के फिर भगवान को स्तुति करते हैं इसलिए ये स्तुति करते हैं गुरुदेव कहते हैं तीन जगह में भगवान के रूप का वर्णना की भगवत एक ब्रह्मा जी किया एक दिव्यो पत्नी ने किया और दूसरी मत राधा है ब्रज गोपियों ने किया है तीन जगह में भगवान की स्तुति भगवान की सुंदरता की वर्णना की गई है इसलिए जिसके अंदर में जो भावना वही भावना प्रकट होगा इसलिए ब्रह्मा जी कौन रस था ब्रह्मा जी दास्य रस था इसलिए दास्य रस का होने के नाते इन्होंने सबसे पहले जो शब्द प्रयोग करते नवमी नवमी मतलब क्या नमस्कार इड्ड इड्ड मतलब हे मेरे प्रभु आपके चरणों में नमस्कार करना सो या ट्राई एवरीथिंग रिमा बेरिंग यू नो एवरीथिंग रिमा बेरिंग इफ यू रिमा बेरिंग देन यू कैन टेल टू समबडी ऑल्सो हरि कथा ये सो Every time keep some notebook like this, Didi. You take note all Hari Kata. So, <laughs> so you know you are taking so many text. That when you meet somebody, oh, how are you? What do you know? Maha Guru Dali, when you meet somebody, you will tell Hari Kata. So when Guru Dali, you know, class give the Mathura, our all Brahmacharya, you are everywhere take notebook. You know, this is notebook all Hari Kata. You are everywhere doing notes. Everywhere, everywhere doing notes. You know. So, so after Guru Dali, now so many preacher now. So many places going, telling so many Hari Katha. Why? You are all Hari Katha doing notes, and also Guru Dev give chance to everyone. You can speak, you can speak, you can speak, Guru Dev. So necessary this temple also you are doing some same thing. You know same thing. I try to do. I try to speak something. If you don't know anything, try little bit. You know. So Guru Dev, when before I tell you, when I come to temple, Guru Dev, Rasam, I cannot speak. Hello, Guru Dev, I cannot speak. That time you may age twenty age, you know. Oh, Guru Dev, then Guru Dev, no, try to speak something. You are not speaking, you know. This 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 day in the Bhagavan Tower, I have not stayed. You are not speaking. Give one on the flower, the lotus petal of the Bhagavan Tower. Understand? So when coming Prabhu Pad, Bhakti Pragyan, Kesa Goswami, Mara Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, he everybody, you know, try everybody coming, everybody invite everybody. Everybody try coming here, here coming, and then who is that can speak? Can give the chance to, and they, they try to talk about the problem by telling little bit, you know. When you try telling, then what are you doing? When you try thinking so many things, you know. Mm -hmm. What can I speak? What can I speak? What can I speak? You know. When you are staying in Mathura, when you stay in Mathura, when the problem by appear in this other in the Bhakti Pragya, when you go any room, anyone not sleep, you know. Any Brahma child not sleep, you know. They are reading this scripture by the Bible, you know. Guru Dev is asking them what can I speak, and they always everybody try. 
first Gurudev, he can give the chance to me. Then what I mean, I can tell Harikatha. But why, when Gurudev gives next time somebody ch chance, Gurudev tell you, no, can repeating anything, <laughs> no repeating, you have try. Oh, what he telling about some another point you can tell. And not telling like a story, oh, he have one father, he have mother, he died, you know. Uh, what is the philosophy about this story, you know? What is the teach to us, you know? What do you teach to us? Necessary thing, what is the teaching? Not only story, 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 no. Necessary some teaching, what is So, okay. So, you are everybody try here, you know? Everybody try here. When coming any Guru Guru Varga, you are invite everybody and try to try. Maybe telling one minute, no problem. You know? Second time she try to tell him two minutes. Understand? Then tell him, tell him three minutes, four minutes. You can hear Guru Dev Mathura. Uh, at that time, I come in the evening, you know, in the evening. In the evening, coming. So, coming to Bhakti Varga, and Kesava Goswami Maharaj appears. So, Guru Dev telling, give everybody try to speak something, something. But somebody, you know, somebody who is cannot tell him, tell him, okay, speak fast, you can tell him. You can write him, you can. Uh, it's writing this pastime and writing in a poem, you know, make some poem writing. So when I come there, uh, reading this, I read this biography from pastime, I make it some poem, poem, I will make it. If this was slowly, 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 you are try, now you can tell me Okay, everybody try, everybody try telling, maybe one minute, maybe two minutes, then three minutes, then four minutes, then one, or telling Harikata. Okay, you try to practice. You don't tell you, oh, I don't know, no. You have, you have no so many things. <coughs> but you are don't tell Harikatha, so you cannot speak anything. No. So you try to speaking, 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 speaking. Okay, Hare Krishna. So today you can listen to me. So he's describing that there are three places where Krishna's form has been described. Krishna's form has been described by the uh, prayers offered by the Yagi Patnis, the prayers offered by Brahmaji, and of course the prayers of the Shokas that we know that the Gopis, Radharani, go. So what, what you will speak, you will speak what is in your heart. So Brahmaji, because he is in his heart, is Dasya so he will speak accordingly. So when he begins to offer his prayers to the Lord, that time he speaks na Nami Adya. Na Nami means uh, nomi, uh, the nomi means that he is offering Nama, he is offering obeisances in Dasseva, he is offering his obeisances to the Lord. This is the beginning words. Yeah, now with the uh, Tita Vini, you are my particular deity. Yeah, what is Dasseva? And then the Dasseva mood of Dasseva. So, first word is, uh, Oh Krishna, I offering my obeisances to your lotus feet. Well, why? Why are you offering your obeisances to? Well, telling Katkar Bhagavan ki charna mein pranam karne ka pranam karne. Pastor says that if one person does the Bhagavan, he doesn't have to be able to do it in the world. He doesn't have to be able to do it in the world. He doesn't have to be able to do it in the world. If one person does the Bhagavan, he doesn't have to be able to do it in the world. So, he doesn't have to be able to do it in the world. There is a lot of significance in performing obeisances to the Lord. It is said in the scripture that is described that one who performs his obeisances once to the Lord, he doesn't have to take birth again. He definitely doesn't have to drink the breast milk of his mother again. Why? Because he will not take birth again. So there is a lot of significance when you perform obeisances to the Lord. So in yes. the beginning, he is performing his obeisances to the Lord. Yes. Well, now, we will tell you, when the Maharaj is saying, will you get me to my house? He said, I will not give you a name of God. He said, I will not give you a name of God. He said, I will not give you a name of God. He said, I will not give you a name of God. He said, I will not give you a name of God. He said, I will not give you a name of God. Mm. Yamaraj himself is saying, when he is addressing his uh, instructions to the Yamadutas, he is saying, whom you should bring to me? He said, bring to me those people who have never offered once obeisances to the Lord. So there is so much importance and so much significance in performing obeisances to the Lord just even once. But the Abhra, Bapu say, the Bhagavan Buddha has said, 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 the Abhra, Bapu say, the Bhagavan Buddha has said, भगवान के शरीर कैसे हैं कहते मेघ जैसे काला मेघ प्रश्न है तो काला मेघ विश्वनाथ गुरु टीका में कह रहे बोले कि भगवान को शरीर को काला मेघ क्यों बताया बोले मेघ है क्या चीज बोले जल का एक नाम है कृपा जब बादल जल है जब वो एकठा हो जाता है ना वो हो जाता है कौन सा रंग हो जाता है एकदम 
कृष्ण वर्ण हो जाता है अभ्रम से हाँ इसलिए माधुर्य कादर में हो जाता है कादर में मेघ बन जाता है तो क्या जल का कृपा मतलब भगवान कौन है बोले हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु कृपा के सिंधु दीन बंधु इसलिए ब्रह्मा जी कह रहे प्रभु आपका रंग कैसे है आपका रंग काला मेघ है मेघ मतलब आप बड़े कृपा सिंधु दया की बंधु आप so he is calling him that abra bakusha ekam it means abra bakusha nice listening after i can bring some question to you okay i can listening from something from you so to listen very nicely hmm. abra bakusha means abra bakusha means for it one of the um, translations of cloud is also kripa that it is described that when the water vapors arise in the air but when they condense together only then they become uh, clouds yeah. and then they have the complexion darkish complexion the same complexion as krishna so he is addressing krishna as the oh krishna you the dark uh, complexion one he is addressing him because he is merciful merciful like the clouds the clouds are merciful they madhur kadamini they become madhur kadamini kadamini means the cloud the sweet net the sweet clouds they go and distribute the showers everywhere uh, regardless of the qualification they will distribute the rains equally similarly you are uh, it hey is for everybody uh, he is uh, hey krishna karuna sindhu din bande jagat pate means he is anybody who is low and fallen you are merciful on them also you are because he is the uh, ocean of mercy the shower of mercy that's why he is addressing them as abra bokshe yeah i understand i understand he is the kripa sindhu is the he is the kripa sindhu abra abra bokshe abra bokshe say Because when this is the color of this is the body, you know, how is the color of it? The cloud. Why? Cloud is so mercy. We give to everybody. Sawa. So like this, tell you, Krishna. Who is the Krishna? Hey, Krishna, Karuna, Sindhu. He is the mercy of Ose. You know, Krishna is the mercy of Ose. Tina Bandhu. Always he gave mercy to very poor person. He gave to mercy. That meaning, Brahma tell you, Po Prabhu, I am doing some pokeries or lotus feet. But what is the color you are? Your color is the Hey Krishna Karuna Sindhu Mercy Bose. So you must drink mercy to me. So your color is the cloud color. Here yeah, this is the one meaning. Another meaning. Yes, the rain is also there, na? Ab dekhna rain. Who? He bichar nahi karta. Oh yeah, yahan par badiya shudha jaga hai. Hang aur rain. Yeah, yahan par ganda taati ke saam yahan par rain nahi mane. Ye rain sab jagah mein barabar dete hain. Isliye kya tuhye Prabhu? Ab ab ka kala na lega na? मतलब है आप सबको पर भी कृपा करते हो मैंने अपराध किया ना मैंने अपराध किया इसलिए मेरे ऊपर आपको कृपा करना पड़ेगा आपको सो नॉल्सो वन ऑफ द मीनिंग्स दैट ही इज एड्रेसिंग यू एज अ क्वेश्चन मींस दैट बिकॉज़ यू आर लाइक द क्लाउड दैट यू आर लाइक द क्लाउड मींस द क्लाउड नेवर कंसीडर्स दैट नाउ व्हेन इट बिगिंस टू शावर द रेंज इट डजंट थिंक दैट ओह दिस इज अ नाइस ग्रीन क्लीन प्लेस सो आई विल शावर देयर बट दिस इज समबडी हैज पास्ड यूर इन देयर आई विल नॉट शावर देयर इट इक्वली इट शावर्स एवरीवेयर Similarly, a lot of Brahmaji addressing him in the Abra Bhakusha means that I have committed an offence, and you have not to consider my offence. You have to be merciful on me also. Just like you shower mercy equally to everybody. Yeah, I have offence here. Yeah. This is the second, second. What is the third meaning? Third meaning, कह रहे एक एक चिड़िया जिसका नाम चकुरा चातक चकुरा उसका एक स्वभाव है किसी नदी का पानी इस तालाब का पानी वो तो नहीं पीएगा वो पीएगा तभी जब बारिश हो नहीं तो कोई पानी नहीं पीएगा लगते हैं प्रभु जैसे चकोरा का जो प्राण जैसे पानी जो ऊपर का जो बारिश बरस थी उसी तरह मैंने अपराध आपका क्या मैंने किया आपका बछड़े सखा को मैंने पिलाया सखा को आपका लीला मैंने व्याघात किया है इसलिए मैंने अपराध ही हूँ लेकिन अपराध जब हूँ जैसे चकोरा और किसी पानी का नहीं पीता है उसी तरह प्रभु भले आकाश से बज्र गिरे नहीं तो पानी हो बज्र गिरे तो मरेगा पानी गिरा तो पानी पिएगा उसी तरह मैं केवल आप ही मेरे ऊपर में कृपा and but sometimes it may happen that it grows too close to the clouds and it may get electrocuted by the lightning so that also is a chance so he is saying that now oh lord i have committed a big offense to you i caused a uh, obstruction in your pastimes by stealing the cows and the cowherd boys and although i am so offensive towards you i have committed this grave offense 
So, but I have still come to you. I do not require just like the chakras bird. It will go to nobody else, but only to the cloud. May the cloud give him water. May the cloud cloud give him lightning. Similarly, may you punish me or may you be merciful on me and uh, consider me as one of your own. So please do whatever you like. You may try the thunderbolt, but still I require your mercy only. Nobody else's. Okay, understand? Mm -hmm. Who is understand? <laughs> Can you tell me why he gave example the Abhravaku says who can tell? I tell him three reasons. Can you somebody tell him one reason? I tell him three reasons. Why he gave the rain cloud? Can you tell him what is the why he gave the rain cloud? Anyone tell him? Any he's one reason? He's like a Karuna Sindhu. He's the ocean of mercy and he's in the mountain. That was the first reason. Second reason, he should, um, shouldn't discriminate. He, because um, well, just like the cloud, it gives uh, uh, mercy uh, raindrops to everywhere. Yeah. So I may have made an offence, but because you're a uh, Karuna Sindhu, yeah. please shower your mercy on me. And the third reason? The uh, third reason was uh, <laughs> Chaka. 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 Oh, Chaka. 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 He'll only drink the, uh, he'll only surrender to the Lord, no one else. So he's praying like the Chaka, like the Chaka bird, don't take water from the cloud. So we only pray to the Lord for his mercy, no one else. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so he tried, you know, he tried doing all Harikatha note, you know. When you not do Harikatha, then what happening? When you try doing some Harikatha, yeah? He tried doing some Harikatha, but you know, he had coming, so many Maharaj low coming, so many Maharaj. If you all Harikatha with you, so when you go to class, I said to Gurudev, you know, Gurudev, when Gurudev coming to class, not like coming and sitting, telling you, no. When Gurudev, I saw, you know, that there are Paramishwari Prabhu, Tirthamara, sometimes Gurudev publishes some sort of scripture. But when up, now Gurudev went to Harikatha, telling Harikatha, one hour before, let everybody go. So I can prepare preparation, preparation, what I can tell you Harikatha. I am doing the preparation. So when you have some preparation telling you Harikatha, this Harikatha is perfect, you know, very nicely. If you come in, sit down, try to tell you Harikatha, you did not preparation. You know, people, then coming some people, when your Harikatha is very good, then, then people is the coming. If not a Harikatha, no interest, you same thing, every day, nobody coming there. <laughs> Nobody coming to there. You try to understand this thing. If every day one thing, one thing, when some many people are coming, when your Harikatha, new, new Harikatha, and a very good, good Harikatha, then somebody, oh, nice Harikatha. You know, when Gurudev Mathura gave class, what happening? Then some people coming from Mathura. Then tell me, Mathura, slowly, 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 slowly. You know, it, who, who is the way in Mathura temple? Who is the way in everywhere? Before this Mathura temple, you know, where this deity from deity there one one hall. Before they are, you know, Bhakti Pragyan Kesa was my Maharaj Bhajan Bhutti also there before. Yeah. But when solitary people came, then they broke this, broken this Bhajan Bhutti, then this Nak Mandir made B. But when Gurudev gave solitary Katha, then what happened solitary, this Nak Mandir also not enough. <laughs> then they have broken this Nak Mandir. So Gurudev went this side till sit down, we were wet. And there are so many people coming, listening Harikatha. They were hot and slow, they have broken this, broken this pillar. Why so many people coming Harikatha? Then now I'm thinking, oh, this is the not enough, you know. The behind the building, then try to make planning to also broke this, you know, and make the big hall. In a big hall, they are trying. But after what happening, maybe Western devotees, so many Western devotees, slow, slowly coming. Then Gurudev go to preaching the Western country, you know. So Western country. So why coming there are people to listen to Harikatha? You know, they are Gurudev glory, going so much of glory to Gurudev. So many, 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 many persons, different, different places they are trying to come. Why? When Gurudev go to Harikatha, not any, any, only not only old thing. Oh, what telling, every day telling the same, same Katha. No? no. If you want telling new, new Harikatha, necessary you can study, you know. Study to scripture, you know. Our, you know, our, you are very, very fortunate. He come, came to this Gaudiya Parampara, you are fortunate. Coming, why? So many scripture, Guru Bhargava, they are gay, you know. But another Sampradaya, only some scripture, only Bhagavad, they are, some Ramayana, they are, some Quran, only they are. But our Sampradaya, 
Prabhu Goswami writing so many scriptures, Hansa Dhruv, Padyavali, you know, Stava, Stavavali, and he writing Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Ujjwal Nirmani, so many scriptures, so many Bhakti Rasamrita, Prabhu Nadas Goswami writing so many scriptures, so many scriptures, Sanadhan Goswami, Brihat Bhagavata Amritam writing, Brihat Bhagavata Amritam, good scripture he gave to us, and a Jeev Goswami said Sandharva, you know, so many, Vishwanath Chakra, so many scriptures, Prabhupada, so many. So he has very fortunate to come, come in this line. But necessary to study, you know. Necessary to study the scripture and telling new, new Harikatha, not old Harikatha. Not like they say, oh, like, right, uh, Abdi. Uh, uh, you know, like this, when your Harikatha became very interest, no. You are looking, reading, no, this is, this is the not good. This is the not good. Good is the fast you can read this thing, you know. Fast take one topic, nicely you can read. And digestion this thing, digestion, complete the topic, digestion. And when you huh, take some points, put some points, this is the, you know, how Gurudev gave Harikatha, I saw, you know. When Bhakti Pragyan Kesar Goswami appeared in disciple every day, and when Prabhupada, then Prabhupada, Gurudev, what are you doing? I saw. Gurudev reports some note, you know, first, first point, second point, third point, fourth point, Gurudev put one one point, you know, he put one one point, and Gurudev looked this point and tried to tell him Harikatha. Mm. Second point when coming, only look, he must look in this second point, then Gurudev tried to do Harikatha. Third point, then your Harikatha is the excellent, like good Harikatha. Then slowly, slowly telling, oh, very nice Harikatha. Go. Yeah, this is the one good quality. So necessary if he, I am coming before I can read one topic. Chaitanya Chaitanya Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavatam. Koi koi bhi grantha hai na. Pahle usko prapriya ab karenge na. If one time, you know, you telling Hari Katha only one time, telling Hari Katha means is the examination. This is the very go to some examination. This is the examination. If one time. You yeah, one time read very nicely, keep remember this point, what heart of me? You have some examination, this is the complete come to your heart. Complete this thing come your heart. Why? Now tell Harikata. So this Harikata meaning examination, one kind of examination. Then what happening? Say when listen, oh tell you very nice Harikata. Oh, this is very nice Harikata, very nice. Then slowly, 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 everybody slowly, slowly come. So so what is the Pran, Pran kya bolte? Life and soul. Life and soul, temple. Prabhupada telling, what is the temple? Temple not one, one deva, one va, not the truth. Prabhupada telling, Pathati Basanti Yatra Chhatra. Where is the Paramarthi, you know? Where is the going? This is the, kya bolte? Paramarthi ki Vidya Pite. Uh, it is the school of learning the highest philosophies. And the Basanti Pathati Yatra Chhatra, where is the the spiritual sure thing always going, always going Harikatha, many is Harikatha. So when I can, how I can, Jagannath Puri to Mathura, how I can come there? Only one region I heard, oh, one, you know, even in the childhood, I have so much interest in listening Harikatha. Then I saw, the, now there are two persons, that will be the good Harikatha. Well, who, well, in Bhuvan, mm -hmm. one is the Gauru Maharaj, and another person, Mathura, is the Narayan Goswami. When I temple, I heard that is very nice Harikatha there there. So then my heart is become Sati Jaya. Oh, I want, I want to go to there, listen to Harikatha, listen to Harikatha. So I am coming there. So... Why did okay. you, why you did not go? Huh? Why did you not go? Why did you not go? He was very calm. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, he, was, he told us that he, he could not go because by the time he decided to go, he had left mm. already. Then he said, oh, okay, I should go to Mathura. Uh, yeah, left, this is very big, yeah. So, and this place is very close to Jagannath Puri. I want to come to Jagannath Puri to some... You're running away. Yeah, yeah, some far away. I want to far away. And also that time, Gauravan Mahaj left this body, you know. When I come, that body left this body. Mahinga Maharaj, when you went to Mathura, what year? Mathura Mahaj, this is... I am not remembering. And also, someone, Madam Maharaj's brother gave you a train ticket to Mathura. Huh? Somebody gave a train ticket to you, Madhavara's yeah. brother. Yeah, this is Madhavara's 
ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಂದನ್ನು ನಾನು ಬರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಒಡಿಶಾ ದೆನ್ ಲಾಕ್ಲರ್ ಗೋಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ ಐ ಗೋ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಹಿ ಸಾ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಎಂಥೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿಸ್ನಿ ಹೈ ಕಾ ಸಾಥ್ ಏನ್ ಹಿ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಮಥುರಾ ದೆನ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೈಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮಿ ಟಿಕೆಟ್ ನಾ ಹಿ ಬೈಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟಿಕೆಟ್ ಐ ಗೆಟ್ ಮೆನಿ ಇನ್ ಬೈಕ್ ಟಿಕೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಫೈವ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮಂತ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೇ ಟು ಮೀ ಮಥುರಾ ಓಕೆ so you are what a try telling hari kata you are everybody try everybody give a chance or you are trying to one can tell one day not over okay one day second time you try to two many times the third not third you try the third three minute four minute like this like this sorry 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 you know everybody give you so much enthusiasm to everybody give so much enthusiasm to the bhajan you know sorry sorry okay so now time One. One. Okay. I can listen to this, uh, this one slope completely can't listen to it. In the third example, he said, He said, Abhra Bapu Sahib Badi Tadi Tambara. Tadi Tambara means that he is the best to be able to do it. He said, He is the best to be able to do it. He is the best to be able to do it. But the best to be able to do it, He is the best to be able to do it. He said, What is the best to be able to do it? कहते हैं कि भगवान के शरीर में जो विद्युत है ये स्थिर विद्युत है ये विद्युत इधर उधर नहीं जाती तो मेघ तो चली जाती है लेकिन कृष्ण का शरीर में कृष्ण का सुंदर है ही है लेकिन उनका जो विद्युत है उसमें और भी सुंदर होता है सो द नेक्स्ट वर्ड दैट ही इज यूजिंग इज तरितंबरा 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 मींस दैट द क्लाउड इज वेरी ब्यूटीफुल इन इटसेल्फ बट व्हेन द क्लाउड आल्सो मैनिफेस्ट सम लाइटिंग इट बिकम्स इवन मोर ब्यूटीफुल बट ब्रह्मा जी इज सेइंग दैट द nature of the lightning is that it is very fickle it's very fickle if you will see the lightning for a fraction of a second and it's vanished but he's saying this lightning of yours the tamba cloud that he has is like an eternal lightning it stays there as effulgent as the lightning that's why he's addressing a third tamba raya yeah more bit bulalwa this a third gunja batan sa bhagwan ne karna usna kiya hai bole gunja jo phool hai gunja jo phal hai uska to karna usna iska matlab kya hai तो विश्वनाथ विधान कहते हैं भगवान कहते भगवान को प्रसन्न करने के लिए कोई बहुत सारी कीमती चीज की जरूरत ये नहीं गुंजा फल हमारे भारत में जंगल में अपने आप फल फलता है अपने आप कलेक्ट कर लो भगवान से क्या लेते हैं मेरे खुश करने के लिए केवल भक्ति भावना सरल से सरल जी लेकिन भक्ति भावना हो ये या कर दूसरा अर्थ है जो गुंजा फल है ना वो राधारणी का स्वरूप है इसलिए रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी को महाप्रभु गिरिराज गुंजा वाला दी गिरिराज कृष्ण तो गुंजा वाला राधा रानी स्वरूप है मानो राधा रानी को द्वारा भगवान अपना शरीर को खुश कर दिया है नेक्स्ट वर्ड दैट ही यूजर इज गुंजा कपका गुंजा कामशा गुंजा कामशा या सो ही इज डिस्क्राइबिंग दैट हाउ टू व्हाट इज ही ट्राइंग टू से बाय द यूजिंग दिस वर्ड सेइंग गुंजा माला गुंजा इज अ वाइल्ड ग्रोइंग फ्लावर इन द forests of uh, india in the garden of india you will find it very easily so he saying that to please the lord you don't require some very expensive thing that something which can which has to be had very rarely even those things which that are available very easily you can offer to him and uh, the lord will be pleased and also another meaning is that when uh, mahaprabhu he gave, wanted to give uh, when raghunath goswami wanted to go to uh, vrindavan to actually bread that time he gave him two things he gave him one shalagam shila uh, sorry uh, govardhan shila But he he gave him golden shila and when he gave gunja mala so or the uh, golden shila means the lord krishna himself and gunja mala means the radharani herself so it means that he went he is uh, decorated with gunja mala actually what it uh, means is that krishna himself decorates himself uh, with radharani herself so like this he think gunja mala means that krishna this krishna to decorate himself with these something that are he so available so easily and that which is dear to him just like radharani yeah fir kon krishna want give teach to us a very simple simple thing you some you don't think when some expensive thing get me then i can be simply will know you very simple thing there but my love affection i want your love affection yeah gunja banta sabal paripich lasat mukhay bol bhagwan ki sarvar maur pankh hai bol mal pankh ki udharan karte uska char panch karan batae pehla hai usme sri radharani ka naam likha hua dusra hai ye brahmachari तीसरा है मयूर का नृत्य करता है जो आकाश में काला मेघ छा जाए और बिजली चमके तभी तो कृष्ण का रूप कैसे है बिजली ये काला मेघ जैसे पिताम्बर जैसे 
बिजली चमक रही है जो बंसुरी की आवाज रगड़ सबको होता है तभी मयूर तभी नृत्य करता है इसलिए कृष्ण का रूप देखकर मयूर धीरे धीरे नाचना शुरू कर दिया और जब कोई व्यक्ति नृत्य करता है बड़े खुश होकर नृत्य करता है नियम है जो नाचता है उसको कुछ देनी चाहिए इसलिए मयूर ने देखा कृष्ण की वजह से मैंने नृत्य की कृष्ण कुछ देनी चाहिए मेरे पास में तो कुछ है ही मयूर पड़ तो अपना पंख को झाड़ दिया एक पंख की रात प्रेम का उपहार है इसलिए भगवान उठाया और अपना सर पर लगाया The next word you say is paripiksha. Paripiksha. Paripiksha mukhaya. So he's describing that <clears throat> this is uh, referring to the uh, feather that he is had. He is uh, adorning on his uh, helmet. So he's described that. Uh, why why does uh, Lord uh, adorn this peacock feather? He's describing there are many many reasons behind this. The one that it is uh, uh, the Radharani's name written there. Another that it is. Uh, say, uh, Don't mention. And he is um, the peacock itself is a brahmachari, and he respects the brahmachari of the devotees. And also another reason is that when does a peacock uh, dance? The peacock dances when it looks at the uh, beauty of Krishna, which is similar to the uh, complexion of the color of the clouds. So he dances. Uh, he dances, and the person is dancing. When does he dance? He dances. Oh, anyway, you know, Krishna is like playing this flute, like this part. Krishna is playing like this flute. And this is the when lightning coming in the sky. This cloud is like lightning, and there are you know there are some sound like this sound. So when Krishna plays this flute like this, you know there is some sound coming, you know. Okay. Rumbling sound. So rumbling sound is coming. So uh, the peacock dances because of this. It, he sees uh, similarity between the cloud and Krishna, his flute playing and his pitambar. So he dances and he dancing in happiness. Now, when he is dancing in happiness, he is very happy after finishing the dance. He is thinking that, oh, uh, Krishna has uh, given me so much happiness. So, what can I give in return? So, that time he shakes his feathers, and the peacock shakes his feathers, and then one of the feather falls down, and Krishna takes this. Why? He takes this and put it, puts it on the helmet, on the top of his uh, helmet, because this is the gift of prem, the gift of affection. So, he aff aff uh, takes this uh, gift of affection, and he gives it the highest place. ये अगर फॉर्थ का आपने बताया कभी राधा रानी ने मयूर बने थे जैसे बरसाना में मयूर कुटी है राधा कृष्ण दोनों मयूर बन बन करके नृत्य किया था इसमें उसको वो जो मयूर पंख है राधा जी की स्मरण करा था फिर चौथा का आने है कभी एक व्यक्ति जा रहा था देखा मेन रोड के ऊपर एक मयूर पंखा गिरा हुआ मयूर पंखा ने कहा देखो जिसको पीछे मैंने लगा हुआ था ना मेरे को छोड़ दिया मतलब चिंता क्यों करते जिसको दुनिया में कोई नहीं पूछते ना पूछने वाला मैं हूँ भगवान पंखा बोली अपना सर And also, uh, we know that how uh, one time Radha and Krishna they both uh, danced in Barsana. We know that uh, dance the peacock dance. They dance in Mayur Kuti. They dance the peacock dance, and it is very dear to him. The peacock dance and the peacock itself is very dear to him. And another reason he described that one time uh, when as the Lord was walking, he saw a peacock feather lying on the ground. At that time, the peacock feather was lying on the ground, as if he's saying to Krishna that, "Hey, uh, I was following somebody all my life, but now I've been rejected by that person, and I'm lying here uselessly, lying here helplessly." And Krishna accepts this and puts it on his helmet. Means he's trying to say that those persons who are rejected by the entire world and who are rejected and totally rejected by the entire world, I accept them and give them give them the highest place. Okay. बोल हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे बन्ने सरजे विशाल बन्ने सरजे भगवान का जो श्रृंगार है बन का जो फूल पत्तों से मौर पंख से उनका गौर की रंगे से सुंदर उसी से ही भगवान को कभी सखियां कभी सखाएं उनको सुंदर श्रृंगार करते कृष्ण ब्रह्मा जी कहते हैं जब भी उनको बैकुंठ भी बड़ा सुंदर अयोध्या भी श्रृंगार द्वारका में भी श्रृंगार लेकिन कृष्ण कहते सबसे सुंदर श्रृंगार मेरे क्या लगता है बोले वृंदावन में जो मेरे सखा गोपियाँ कुंज में मेरे को बैठा करके बन का फल पत्ते फूलों से जो श्रृंगार करते हैं वो सबसे मेरे प्रयास करते हैं नेक्स्ट वर्ड यूज मीन दैट ही डेकोरेटेड बाई दी डेकोरेशन दैट आर अवेलेबल इन दी वन एंड दी फॉरेस्ट सो वट आर वट इज अवेलेबल इन दी फॉरेस्ट वट इज अवेलेबल फॉरेस्ट आर दी लीव्स the flowers and some simple uh, minerals etc 
and the gopis they use these minerals to decorate Krishna. Sometimes they use some colors of flowers, and they use some sometimes other colors of flowers. They use different petals, they use different leaves, and they decorate. This is Brahmani. What he's trying to say here, Brahmani is trying to say here. Although there are so many different types of very very expensive, very elaborate uh, ornaments available to him in Vakuntha, in other plant uh, planets, etc. And he is decorated by Dwarka, queens of Dwarka, etc. He's decorated by so many expensive ornaments. But Krishna is saying, I find the greatest happiness when I am decorated by the minerals and by the uh, flowers, etc. of the forest. So this is what he is mentioning here on Nesraje. Mm. The next word he used are Kaval Vetra. Kaval Vetra Kaval means his hands. And what, what is in his hands? In his hands is either sometimes uh, milk and rice or sometimes it is yogurt and rice. So he's saying, by this he's saying that although he may be offered so many preparations, so many elaborate preparations in uh, different places, but he enjoys the most. The simplest why because he's a cowherd boy, so he loves this preparation of simple preparation of yogurt and rice or milk and rice. He enjoys this. That's what he is. So have you ever had this? Have you ever had uh, this? He's asking. Yogurt, rice, and uh, milk and rice. Milk and rice is key. Yes. And yogurt, yogurt and rice. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kathavari ka thodi saal ho gaya thi. Agar vishal agar vidhu kaje pasu paar mein jaake to bhi na unki kitni mahatva hai. कृष्ण जब वृंदावन में चलते हैं कृष्ण का चरण स्पर्श पा करके कहते तो उसमें जो घास घास नहीं भगवान के रोंगे जैसे जैसे रोंगे खड़े हो जाता है और जो झरना नहीं जैसे वृंदावन विराज गोवर्धन वृंदावन का उनका आंखों से आंसू बह रहे हैं इसलिए कृष्ण जब सखाओं के साथ में वृंदावन में प्रवेश करते हैं तो सारे सखा लोग कृष्ण के नया लाल की जय जय करते हुए वृंदावन में प्रवेश करते हैं इसलिए कहते भैया कृष्ण कौन है बड़े पशुपाल हो जाए एक सिद्धांत कहते हैं पशु पर मतलब पशु का जो पालन करते श्री नंद बाबा उनका अंग से जो प्रकट हो गया कौन बोले कृष्ण बोले कृष्ण कौन है नंदन नंदन है जसोदा नंदन देवकी नंदन और जो वसुदेव नंदन है अंश रूप में लेकिन पूर्ण रूप में ये नंदन नंदन सो नेक्स्ट वन इज ट्राइंग द विशाल वे नो ही सेइंग व्हाट इज व्हाट इज इट क्या बोलते हैं कृष्ण उसको तो छोड़ दिया विशाल बनी मतलब कृष्ण जब दसवीं बजाते हैं राधा रानी कभी कभी कहते हैं अगली जीवन में राधा ही नहीं बन कर काम काम तो सकती बंसुरी बन गई कृष्ण कभी छोड़ते नहीं हाथों में कल गले में बाधर में रखते हैं विशाल बनी विशाल बनी मींस ही ऑल द टाइम ही इज प्लेइंग द फ्लूट एंड समटाइम्स राधा रानी थिंक्स दैट नेक्स्ट लाइफ आई डोंट वांट टू टेक बर्थ एज़ राधा रानी आई वांट टू टेक बर्थ एज़ द फ्लूट कृष्णा रिजेक्ट्स एवरीथिंग but this flute is always adorned in his hands he always keeps this even when he's sleeping the flute is with him he's saying i better have a life like uh, uh, the flute next life and then he's saying pashu panga jaya pashu panga jaya means that pashu means the animals that who is he he's a coward boy so i always taking care of the animals and he thinking of the animals and he is raising the animals and when he's coming back the glorifications of his coming back uh, krishna ki jaya like this all the uh, gopal etc they enter the forest like this So this is the past time of his grazing the cows, etc., and referring to him as the cowherd boy. This is what is meant by this address. Uh, and the uh, when the, he is walking on in the forest, he sees that there are he sees that there are so many grass, <coughs> so much grass in the forest. This is not just grass; it is the hair of the Govardhan standing on end in ecstasy by getting the touch of the lotus feet of the Lord. And this uh, waterfalls which are falling from the forest. Uh, from the Girira Govardhan, what is it? These are the tears of ecstasy shed in separation from Krishna, or in meeting of Krishna. That this waterfall, these are these are the waterfalls that are being shed by the Girira Govardhan. Okay, well, Girira Maharaj, ki jai. Meri tu paar, meri tu meri tu bol gaya. Bol gaya. This is this one. Lord Brahmanandi, Hari Krishna. The who is that Krishna? You know, it's a little one. Good Siddhanta, good Kali. If you read some of the Bhagavad Gita direct. You know who is the reading another sampradaya? Everybody tell you who is the Krishna? Krishna is the son of Sudhayana. Devo is the Krishna. But nobody tell you Krishna is the son of Jasoda Nanda. But we are telling Brahma. Well, no, who is the Krishna? Well, Pasu Panga Jaya. Pasu Pa meaning who is the cow raising? Anga who is the manifestation from the who he? You know who? The Nanda Nanda. Very precious is Nanda Baba. Yeah. So who is the Krishna? The Nanda Nanda. Who is the Jasoda Nanda? You know, he is a complete devoted Krishna. 
in Nandana, the Sudhagadhuva is upon answer pass, then in the son of devotee answer. Okay? Malaji Krishna can hear Allah, this is one of the evidence, this shloka is one of the evidence to prove that Krishna is the son of Nanda Baba. Yes, Krishna is the son of Nanda Baba. Yes, Krishna is the son of Nanda Baba. Yes, Krishna is the son of Nanda Baba. It's a Pramananda's birthday today. Which page? Which page? Oh, birthday. Thank you. 